Hey guys, this is Zora Water. Welcome back to some more Final Fantasy X. Disregard the fact that you can't see my face, I just wanted to show off my amazing body here. Uh, anyways, we entered into Besaid Village and, um... We did not get any food. Thanks a lot, Waka. However, we did go into the Cloister of Trials in Besaid Temple and met up with Lady Summoner Lady Yuna. So now that we've got all that settled and done with, I guess we're going on a boat now. Or at least that's what she's saying. I don't know why they're taking me along, but whatever. Something I want to give you. Whoa! You're giving this? To me? Yeah, use it well. That's the sword you gave Chapu. Well, he never used it. Where's Yuna? We're taking the same boat as Yuna, right? Why do we gotta wait here? Yuna came to this village ten years ago, when the last calm started. The calm? Since then, she's been like a little sister to me and Lulu. But she had the talent. She became an apprentice. Now, today, she leaves as a summoner. This is our journey. We should leave together. You really don't need all that luggage. Ah, uh, they're not really my things. Th they're gifts for the temples we're to visit. This isn't a vacation, you know. I guess... I guess you're right. Okay, off we go. Pro tip, don't listen to Wonka. Head straight back into Besaid Village on the, on the, uh, Pronto? Stat? Whatever. Anyways, uh, you want to make sure you do this before you leave Besaid Village, because let me tell you, we are not going to come back for a really, really long time. And if you don't have the... God, I still don't know what it's called. Uh, the North American version. If you have the international version, basically, if you have... This expert spear grid. Make sure you pick this up before you leave, otherwise you will regret it. So if you go over here, actually if you talk to this girl in general afterwards, she... I thought she st started selling weapons. That's weird and peculiar. Okay. Anyways, she's gonna say, you know, a funny thing happened. My dog dug up some- uh, dug something up yesterday. I wonder what it was. So, apparently now we just need to go look for a little doggy. And I think the dog tends to hang around if it's not outside. I think it hangs around here? Yeah, there it is! Talk to the doggy! He's got something in his mouth. Obtain something mangled and slobbery. Ugh. But you know what that mangled and slobbery thing is? Valfour's overdrive energy blast. He, For some reason, Valfour is the only... Why can't I get out? is the only Aeon who can have a second overdrive, from what I can tell. And that's pretty much it. It's a little bit sad. If you don't pick it up now, chances are if you try to come back here when you get the ability to come back, you're gonna be blocked by something way overpowered and you won't be able to get that overdrive anytime soon. So that's why I'm saying, like, I'm trying to put emphasis before you get on the boat. Make sure you get back here on, on the double. On the double, that's what I meant to say. Here comes one now. Hey, why don't you try out that sword I gave you? Okay, so these next few battles are very scripted. It's just kind of telling us what each and every character can do. So, yeah. Titus, Titus here is much more of a speedy fella than Waka or, say, Lulu or Yuna. So, he can he's able to attack these little speedster dogs without any problem. No problem! Not too shabby. You kept up with him pretty well. Might make a good guardian someday. A flyer! My kind of customer! Whereas Wonka and his little blitz ball can actually hit flyers. I don't... 
I've been playing this game for a long time. I actually started to come to dislike this system because it means that anytime I have a flyer, I have to use Waka. Anytime I have a little skinny doggy, I have to use Tidus. Granted, if you use magic though, magic never misses. It's immune, but never miss. So yeah, there we go. So these are not the only type of enemies that can have that kind of um, unique slash not unique way of killing them. Uh, we'll probably see more later on the road. For now, I can now get a little bit more strength. And I'm gonna move over to Waka. Uh, I believe all of us kind of start off from the center going onward because I believe Riku was over here. Titus was over here. Wonka is to the left right here. Oh, crap. Uh, I guess this could be Orin if we ever get him, because he did have power break. Lulu's down here. Yuna's down here. I think we're still missing one or two. I don't know. It's been a while since I played this. So I'm just going to go over to the left. I could try to move into the center, but eh, probably not. And my accuracy has increased. Wonderful. Okie dokie, time to move on for. The question is, how many scripted battles am I going to be forced to go into before I go into the next screen? Because I don't know if it's based on the... Area! That looks like trouble. Ha! Watch this! So yeah, remember when I said um, each monster kind of has this unique way of being killed? This is kind of the uh, more annoying ones. Told ya, only magic can beat that thing. If you can't beat them down, you gotta use magic of an element they don't like. Magic? Element? Let's have our black mage show you what I mean. Lou, you're up. Clueless, aren't you? Good thing I'm here. All right, so not only does this show that we can have up to three party members in a battle, uh, Lulu here is actually our black mage. She can use all sorts of different magics. Final Fantasy X has probably the weirdest um, strength and weakness magics ever. Spells of ice work well against fire fiends, and ice fiends are weak against fire magic. You follow? I get fire and ice, but what about lightning and water? Lightning and water are opposed, just like fire and ice. This one here is a water fiend, which means... So yeah, it's a little bit weird. Um, normally, I think other Final Fantasy games and other games in general with elemental weaknesses have kind of like a very definite, this is strong against the other, but the other way around isn't exactly the same. No, Final Fantasy X, fire is weak against ice, ice is weak against fire, thunder and water are weak against each other. It's a little bit weird. This is a water elemental, so we have to use lightning. Granted, if you use a different element um, to attack it, it's not gonna, it's not like it's not gonna die, it's not gonna take damage, it just would do a lot less. And if you try to use a water element on this, it's just gonna heal it, so please don't do that. And it just gonna melt down! Alright, that was not a lot of AP, but you know what, that is fine. I will get all the AP I need down the road as we head towards the port. Take your time. Let's get going, man. We're gonna wait. Huh? Are you ready? What's going on? Oh look, and now we have a safe- I actually don't remember if the safe spear was here before when we came up here, but whatever. Uh, before we head on or- uh, uh, Before we go onwards, you can actually get a little nice cutscene here. It's an ancient custom. People leaving the island pray here for a safe trip. Chapu didn't pray that day. Said he'd miss his boat. Yeah, there's, there's these kind of random cutscenes kind of scattered across Spira. 
Hopefully I'll remember where each of them are. There, I don't think there's a big... There's a lot of it. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and pray because my luck is terrible. And I don't trust anything anymore. That should do it. I mean, granted, I, I say my luck is terrible, but it's more... Oh, I can pray again! Sweet! Um, it's more unstable than anything. I can have really bad luck or really good luck. And occasionally in the middle. It's a little bit weird. But whatever. Moving onward. We're not gonna go to, to the left where we first came up. And there's two safe spears up there. Crap. Uh, we're not gonna go to the left because that just kind of leads to water and I'm pretty sure half of us can't swim. Ooh, what's this? Se whoa, 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 Something is written here. Kilika, uh, I'm assuming that's Anne. Kilka and Beaconel. And the, the, mm, I don't know what that says. Okay, I guess you want to be that way. Oh, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and attack. That's because that's all we can kind of do unless we want to sit here and cheer all day. I was wondering who, who we were missing. Uh-oh. Please don't hurt me! Oh, Christ, that actually did hurt. Uh, nope, it missed. That's good! Oh, uh-oh. Gonna kill me, please. That's enough. Nah, what's with that guy? Kimari Ronso, of the Ronso tribe. He's learned the fiend's way of fighting. That's not what I meant. He's another of Yuna's guardians. Huh? <laughs> Sometimes we don't understand him either. Kamari doesn't talk much anyway. Mm. But he has protected me since I was a child. Hmm. Huh. Okay, that was rude as hell. Uh, ooh, we got ourselves a new weapon. I am gonna go ahead and equip that. Uh, first of all, abilities. I can use Cure, because Iona is actually a white mage, but you know what, it apparently gave me the ability. <laughs> it already, um... Okay, that's weird. I didn't think it would heal me to max already. Um, so if we go to Equip, we can actually switch out our weapons. Right now, the Brotherhood of Freaking. The Brotherhood is one of the best weapons for Titus in the entire game. Mainly because it has more slots. We'll get to those way later. So in the meanwhile, if you have something a little bit better, then you might want to swap it out. And it looks like all it has is a sensor, which only shows the enemy's HP information as well as any weaknesses and whatnot. Which it could be helpful now, but at the same time, I'm kind of rocking that plus 5% strength stat. So I'm gonna I'm keep it. your department, right? True, true, but, uh, why don't we let our summoner show us what she's made of? Okay, so here, even though we can only have three members, or three party members in battle, we have the ability to switch one as long as we use up that turn. So, well, it, it, I say use up, but it actually doesn't use up the turn, it just switches the character's turn. So hitting L1 will bring up this menu and allow us to switch over to Yuna. So right now it's Titus, Waka, and Lulu before the monster attacks. If I hit X and switch with Yuna, your first real battle. Let's see some style. Show us what your training has taught you, Yuna. Okay. Yeah. So rather than using up, uh, rather than using up Titus's slot, it actually just swaps it with Yuna. So it's now Yuna, Lulu, and Waka before the monster attacks. 
Also, Yuna is not only a white mage, she is a summoner. She can summon Aeons, and Aeons are very overpowered. When Aeons take damage, they're H they have their own HP and MP bar. If they run out of HP, then you can no longer summon them until you get them healed at the next uh, safe spear or the next inn. But yeah, all this is is kind of swap in, um, swap those two slots. So let's go ahead and summon Valfor. This is actually a configuration in the uh, settings where you can skip these Aeon cutscenes. I personally like them and they don't take too long. So yeah, I'm probably just going to keep them lit. Alright, so Aeons, as I said, have their own HP and MP uh, pool. They also have their own set of skills, mainly, uh, let's see. Only for Valvor, he, uh, she has the um, move Sonic Wings. Which, what this does, it would delay the enemy's turn by a few. You can actually see it happen as we click on it and you look on the upper right. It kind of rearranges the setup. Um, oh yeah, and they're all... All Aeons by default have sensors, so we're able to see that little info box on the upper left. Since this thing doesn't have an element of weakness, it only shows us the HP. Valpor also starts off with some black magic, so you can go ahead and use that if you want. Although since um, Valpor's MP pool is really low, I kind of suggest not messing around with it too much. They also have two things. They have shield. Which means that they'll, the next attack they'll take will be significantly reduced, but their overdrive gauge will not go up at all. So that's you're gonna have to probably use that for like super attacks. Meanwhile, if you use boost, you your overdrive gauge will go up immensely after taking a hit. However, you will be taking a lot of damage. So actually, I'm just gonna sit here and boost a little bit because I do want to show off Valfor's overdrive. Oh, and, and they can still miss, so doing that, um, boosting while missing is wonderful. I probably could have gotten away without boosting. But you know what, that is fine. Okay, so now that we have the overdrive gauge. Again, as I said, Valpor is the only Aeon to have more than one overdrive, so it's really good. Uh, Energy Blast is the one that we just picked up from Jose Village, so by default, Valpor would have had Energy Ray. It's a very simple... Not super flashy overdrive, but it does do a ton of damage. And if I'm correct, all Aeon overdrives will hit every single monster on the field. So there's no single targets from what, from what I can understand. And as you see there, only Yuna got the experience because Yuna's the only one who did anything in battle. But that's, uh, ooh, Twilight Steel. What's that? We'll see what that is. No, 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 where's, where's he just? There he is. Uh, Dark Touch! Ooh, I, I said I was rocking this, uh, plus 5% strength. You know what, I'll take this too. Um, equipment... Equipment and the like is a little bit different. It doesn't really focus on specific stats. You know, like in other RPGs, where it says that this weapon's like maybe 52 strength, while this other weapon's like 72 strength. No, it's based on the percentage, and even then, like, um... It's based on your character's overall stats than anything else. So yes, you can have a small increase based on the percentage, or you can just have a lot of abilities like Dark Touch. It'll instantly blind an enemy if I use it. Another one of those. No problem. Leave this one to me, huh? Say goodnight, birdie. Speaking of Dark Touch, it's actually showing us a tutorial for Waka's skill. He starts off with the skill Dark Attack which it has a chance of actually inflicting the enemy with blind. When, a, when an enemy is inflicted with blind, they have a higher chance of missing. Their accuracy decreases. So if, you, if you're fighting against a physical monster, you might want to see if you can blind them out. Unfortunately, because this thing is blind, I don't think my overdrive gauge is going to go up at all. So yeah, that's, uh, that's a little bit concerning. Um, I was going to show Valfor's other... La, la, la. I was gonna show off her other um I okay so freaking I don't I don't think Aeons really have a gender but at the same time I feel like they do so I'm gonna I'm probably gonna be switching back between he and she for Valfor because it's not explicitly stated as of yet 
But yeah, whatever. Um, I wanted to show off Valfor's utter overdrive, but if this thing's gonna keep on missing... Actually, that might be working out for the better for us. But you know what? We can do that another time. Unfortunately, since Yuna is our white mage and summoner, she's not very good on the offense if we can't really use her summons. So that's why I had to switch her out for these three. I don't know why, just... <laughs> I switched out Titus or, or Lulu for Titus and then Yuna for Lulu. It's a little bit weird like that. Ooh, and look at that weapon! That looks snazzy! Isn't that like- Oh my god, we're getting so many weapons for Titus. Can we not? What is this one? Uh, plus three. That's fine, but I want to keep the Dark Touch. Dark Touch is great. But yeah, that's why I, I really like the fact that I can see my weapons and shields kind of uh, switch visually on this game. Oh, look at that! A perfect combination! Let's see. Titus kills the doggy. Walka kills the birdie. And Lulu zaps the... Jelly. I, I don't know why it took me a long time to really figure out what that thing is. Oh, and we got some spear level ups. Let's go ahead and get those out of the way. Freaking Titus is, uh, moving up on the board there. Speed spear. Oh, what's our next skill, actually? Next skill is flee, right? The one that I'm probably gonna abuse like nuts. Crap. Okay, um, let's see. And then Lulu's over here. Actually, what, what is this skill over here? Extract mana. I mean, I could? I really could? Oh, this is actually a little bit tough. Hmm. So actually these extract skills, I believe it guarantees that that monster is going to drop whatever type of spear. So if I were to get extract mana and I used it on an enemy, I'm guaranteed to get mana spear drops from that enemy. Now the question is like, I should go for it because that would be really helpful, but at the same time... Uh, no. I'm just gonna go down. Uh, I'm just gonna go down the um, normal black mage path down here, and we'll see how it goes. Oh wait, however... Hang on, hang on. If I switch over to Yuna, I can learn this! Extract abilities, and now I can guarantee ability spears. And if I remember correctly, the ability spears were like one of the harder ones for me to get later in the game. So that's definitely gonna help out. Alright, are we done taking the scenic route? It looks like it. Okay. Down we go then. Oh, and there goes everyone else. Save spear here. If you wanna... Go ahead and save. But, uh, actually, no. This is a perfect time for me to show you. Um, so in the options right here, it should, you can actually have the cutscenes for the Aeons on default or short cutscene, but that's not what I want to show you. If we switch to music, you can definitely hear a di distinct difference. Okay, for maybe this song, it's not too different but yeah at any point you can actually switch these two songs and it's really nice um i'm probably just gonna keep up with the original though because i really like the original soundtrack anything to say i knew this day would come someday i knew may heaven's blessing be with our summoner on her pilgrimage here a gift for from the temple to sanctify her departure oh hello i didn't know about this they're really leaving here a farewell gift from all the village Money! Hey, wait, wait, wait! Hang on! Hang on, sir! I wish to talk to you! No! Sir! Sir! Sir, do you have a gift for Lady Yuna? Sir! Sir! No? Okay... I won't cry. I won't, yeah? Is there anything else over here, or...? No? I think that's about does it. Are you gonna tell me anything? Oh, there are so many things I want to tell her. I've seen her there smiling. I just can't say them. Hey you, the sea's crawling with beans, so give this to you now, okay? Jesus, you guys are giving me all sorts of neat stuff. Kit? Lady Yuna, don't forget me, okay? We'll miss Lady Yuna. Come back soon, yeah? Okie dokie.
goodbye. Okay, so that guy probably hates our guts. What happens if we talk to him? Come here. Come here. Hey, sir. 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 Hello. Sir. Uh-huh. You want to use the binoculars? Oh, uh, sure. No way. Remember what you did last time? <laughs> okay, he does still hate us. Wonderful. Um, can we actually go below deck right now? Ooh, yes we can. Ooh, those fascinating clothes you're wearing. Yeah! Filthy! Filthy! These won't sell. All me name's not a waka. Don't look like you got much money, either. I've no business with you. Out of me way! Who do you think you are? A waka the 23rd. Merchant extraordinaire! A waka the who? Don't know me? Well, not many do. Not yet. I mean, the fact that my camera kind of blocked you with a giant plant, well, it definitely helps on that. But yeah, this is Owaka, the 23rd. He is more, um, a traveling merchant that we'll be seeing on our adventure. So let's go ahead and talk with him and see what he has. But someday, the name Owaka will be spoken all over Spira. Say, lad, you wouldn't have a bit of gill to lend. You just said that I didn't look like I had a lot of gill, sir. You know what? I'm going to be nice. Um, oh wait, I can actually lend Gil to a walker directly. Yeah, so I guess we can't shop for anything right now. Um, but what you do want to do at some point is give a walker some money. It's going to pay off later on, or at least I hope it will. Uh, for now, let's just start with 100. Wait, no, just do it. I guess it pays to ask. Thank you kindly, lad. Fine seed money for the Oaka Merchant Empire. Much obliged, lad. I'll be sure to pay ye back. Oh shoot, I uh... You got some to lend? Okay, there we go. I was about to say like I thought I screwed myself out. Uh, so I actually don't use money too often. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give him all the money I have. Or at least most of it. I guess it pays to ask. Fine seat, man. Alright. Anyways, oh look, it's Luzu and Gata over here. Guess they came along for the uh, journey. I'm not at liberty to talk about our plan. Restricted area. Our operation depends on this cargo. Okay, whatever you say. There's a safe spear here if we want to use it. But I'm not going to use it. What happens if we go down a little bit lower? Power room. What the heck is that? What the heck is what? What is this place? The power room, like it says on the door. Yeah, but why the big birds? What's so strange about chocobo power? Chocobos? Those are chocobos? What? You've never seen a chocobo? What kind of backwater island did you come from, anyway? Hmm. 
miracles and oddities were starting to become daily routine on this trip. So yeah, these are these adorable little chickens are chocobos, a staple animal in the Final Fantasy series. La, 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 la. And over there, she's humming the chocobo theme song, and you're pushing me. I do not appreciate this. <laughs> first, first the guy at the end, now you. Can I actually get out? Okay, fine. Oh yeah, these adorable little birds are the greatest. And uh, no, don't you're not pushing me this time, lady. If you press X on them. They make an adorable little squeak, and I love it! <laughs> oh, I love chocobos. Chocobos are amazing. I don't think I can access these door- Oh, wait, I can! Uh, where- Ooh, hello! Remedy! So, if we get a status ailment, we can use that to get rid of it. Ugh, I- I got seasick. I, I think I'm gonna hurl! Wait, is that person over there? Oh, that's... that's Keepa? He looks so purple in the dark! <laughs> I'm hiding over here because I'm gonna get sick too if I keep watching him. I mean, fair enough. Uh, that's some random luck. <laughs> what? <laughs> how, many how many times can I keep on doing this? Is anyone gonna get mad at me? Um, I didn't know this was a thing. <laughs> okay, seriously, is anyone going to get mad at me? Or am I just going to get infinite potions for days? Okay, I'm going to stop now. That was, uh, unexpected. Is there a door over here that I can access? No, no there isn't. Um, oh, right, on the mini-map, which apparently keeps on switching left and right, but that's fine. Safe spears are the white squares. The green squares are places that we can enter and exit. So that's good to note. I kind of wish it would show us NPCs, but if it did that, it would be super cluttered. It looks like there's a way for us to enter from here! Over this way. Here is, I guess, the captain's room? We'll revive and kill up before nightfall. Go on, take a nap or something. What's in here? Um, I don't know. I can't click on it. Oh, what a great day! The breeze must feel wonderful! And that's all they have to say. And that's a map of Spira, I assume, but I can't see anything. I kinda wish we could see a big world map of Spira, but no, we can't. We only see it in those little cutscenes every so often. So, it looks like Yuna is preoccupied with all Word these is, guys. that summoner's got noble blood. I heard she's Lord Braska's daughter. You don't say! Lord Braska's daughter? Mm. And they're not gonna let me talk to her. Wonderful. What do you have to say, big guy? No, you just shake your head at me. Fine. Or you cross your arms. Fine. I can't interact with the blitz balls, which makes me sad because I kind of want to kick them. What do you have to say, Waka? So, is Yuna's father famous or something? She's the daughter of High Summoner Braska. You saw his statue at the temple. Lord Braska defeated Sin ten years ago. Yuna's the heir to a great legacy. It's tough <sighs> when your father's famous. Huh? Walker's a bit lacking in the imagination department. Huh? <laughs> Thanks, Lulu. I'll keep that in mind. Aha! Uh -huh. Sick burn. Oh yeah, you talked to Yuna yet. She had some questions for you. Uh, yes, I will talk to her. However, I did want to talk to Lulu first. I don't know who you are, or where you came from. If you interfere with Yuna's pilgrimage, we won't take it lightly. I don't know- Oh, okay. That's all you say? Really? Fine. Uh, let's see. What do you find- Lord Braska's daughter? She just might have a chance. We'll get her to Kilika, we will. She does have a name, you know. Yuna. Hmm, Lady Yuna. Well then, we pray for Lady Yuna's safe passage. Okay, that's actually a scene I've never seen before. That's 
Neato. And there, it looks like they're practicing. And I can't talk to them. Oh wait, I'm so tired of practicing passes. I want to do some shooting too. Well, if you shoot the ball, it's going to go off the boat. Should I practice kick passes too? Uh, sure, why not? Okay, I'll pretend I'm kicking with my hands. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that's great. The wind. It's nice. Mm. You're a Blitzball player, aren't you? From Xanarkin, right? Uh, you hear that from Waka? Mm-hmm. Huh. Waka. Waka doesn't believe me at all. <laughs> but I believe you. Huh? I've heard in Xanarkin, there is a great stadium, all lit up, even at night. Huh? Great Blitzball tournaments are held there, and the stands are always full. How do you know that? A man named Jack told me. He was my father's guardian. Jack. Jack. My father. His name is Jack. <gasps> Amazing! Hmm. You know, our meeting like this must be the blessing of Yevon. Mm. Sounds like him, but it can't be him. Why not? My old man, he died. Ten years ago, off the coast of Xanarkin. I I'm sorry. He went out to sea for training one day, and never came back. And no one's seen him since then. Why, that's the day that huh? Jekt came to Spira. But, uh... It's true, I first met Jekt ten years and three months ago. I remember that was the day my father left. The date fits, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, but how would he get here? You're here? Are you not? What do you think you're doing? Stick
stick a harpoon in him and we'll all get dragged under. Zin is going for Kilika. We gotta distract him. Our families are in Kilika. Forgive us, Lady Summoner. Wait! Oh, boy. Okay, so um, I kind of done goofed. I probably shouldn't have gone into that cutscene because right now I'm going to end up the episode. There is no way I'm going to try to do this battle and the cutscenes to follow in one episode. Otherwise, it'll be a really long video. That'll be the end of this one. Um, We'll continue on with this battle in the next episode. This is Zora Water signing out. <laughs>